The Crystal Raiders update marks the start of a new era for Albion Online. We are refocusing the guild seasons. There will now be an update every single season with new content in the Conqueror's Challenge every single season. I think players will enjoy the more frequent updates because there's always something new to explore. The key focus of the Crystal Raiders update is to breathe fresh wind into the Guild Warfare gameplay with the introduction of territory raiding, a reworked Conqueror's Challenge and Crystal Weapons. We chose to focus on Guild Warfare and Guild Seasons for this update because we wanted to align the Guild goals and the individual goals better. Raw energy is an intermediary resource produced by territories in the Crystal Raiders update. Raw energy is refined in the territories into siphoned energy. And the exciting thing about raw energy is that it can be stolen from your enemy's territories and carried back to your own territories. We want it to feel almost like a bank heist. You go in, you find a tower, you destroy weak points and you steal the riches below from the bank vault and get out again. You can steal valuable raw energy by killing a territory's siphoning mages. Siphoning mages are now only attackable during a region's prime time, and that region's prime time has been reduced down to one hour to make for much more focused action times during a day. What we hope to achieve with territory raiding is that guilds are heavily incentivized to go into conflict with each other. Raiding offers so many opportunities for spontaneous betrayal of alliances or looking at the map, looking for an opportunity and spontaneously taking advantage of that, that opportunity. Territory raiding will dramatically shake up the way guilds play the guild seasons. We took another look at the Conqueror's Challenge and we decided that there needs to be a way for, the, for your rewards from the Conqueror's Challenge to improve based on your guild success so that you as an individual benefit from the time you've invested into the success of your guild. In the new Conqueror's Challenge, at the end of the season, instead of battle mounts, you will get a reward chest. This reward chest will not only upgrade with your progress in the Conqueror's Challenge, but also increase in value with your guild rank. Even as an individual player, you will be able to participate in these activities and earn points for your guilds. And even if you are a non-guild player, there's still stuff that you can get. If you upgrade the chest to a greater size based on your Conqueror's Challenge progress, you simply get more rewards. But if you upgrade the quality of the chest, you also get more rewards, but you get access to some of the more unique rewards, including battle mounts, and the artifacts for the all-new crystal weapons. When we looked at how we would reinvigorate the seasonal rewards, we had to consider how we can create a reward that feels meaningful, but that we can also give out in a meaningful quantity without destroying its economy. And the solution we came up with were crystal weapons. Each new update, we will introduce three new crystal weapons. That means every season there, you can look forward to a new exciting weapon to come into the game. So in the first batch of crystal weapons, we will have a new sword, a new spear, and a new arcane stuff. Our design philosophy for these weapons was form follows function, meaning they have clear shapes, they have big crystal blades. The new spear ability lets you shoot out a big, large, projection of your staff that is, deals a lot of damage in large-scale fights. New sword ability lets you charge up your power, run into the enemy forces and strike them twice. The new arcane ability lets you summon stars from the sky that you can rain down on your enemies. Players can look forward to every upcoming update to contain a fresh batch of three crystal weapons. The advantage of releasing them in multiple batches is that we can introduce fresh and exciting new gameplay in every update. It's a great time to come back to the game because it will reinvigorate the guild warfare. And for you as an individual player, you also get this awesome new content with the crystal weapons that you can achieve. We want to bring fresh wind into the guild versus guild conflict and territory warfare. We are super excited to release the Crystal Raiders update in the beginning of 2024, but are already hard at work on what comes after. Whether you are a new player or a returning player, there will be a bunch of exciting stuff coming to Albion Online in the next year.
Now sharpen your swords and dust off your mage staffs. It's time to get ready for an exciting year of guild conflicts and updates in 2024. Chúng tôi tăng cường tuyển dụng thành viên cho mùa mới gây cấn hơn. Anh em Việt Nam nhào vô chiến đê, 